to my live. Welcome everybody. Today we're going to have some Halloween fun and can't wait to get started. What it means when you start doing crafting for Halloween means we're going to get some cooler weather coming soon, I hope. Get the autumn vibes going. Okay, today I'm going to use <clears throat> one of the new surfaces. It actually kind of looks like a tombstone, doesn't it? <laughs> Which would fit with Halloween. Um, and it, it just goes on this stand. And it's, of course, double-sided, reusable. All right, so I'm gonna put the stand over here. And I'm going to use the a little baddie transfer. It says this family is a little baddie. And I'm going to use the transfer. Uh, it's an A size transfer. Thanks for dropping in with a spider dropping in from the web. So I'm going to use these two. Pace, I have our black velvet. Our Hey Pumpkin, uh, Nominee, which was last month's color of the month, and our Glow in the Dark. So, along with this came, I'm trying to get this to show up on um, my other, on my iPad but it never works. I don't know why. Ah, there I am. Okay, but it's way behind. All right, so what I did is when I got this, they also had the digital files and um, of the bats and the baddie part. So I ran that through my silhouette machine and cut it, cut it out and it'll match the transfer perfectly. Here's the baddie. And I got, I did a couple of those. Let's see what else do I have here? Well, let's just put them off now. I cut them with our chalk suede paper. Um, it, it's kind of kind of hard. It has like a plasticky feel on both sides, and then it's kind of paper in between. So it, it's tough. It's not gonna fall over. You see, it just keeps straight. It's like um, I don't know, maybe an eighth inch thick. But I'm gonna use some of these. Uh, whatever these things, these little squares to kind of push it up a little bit to give it more dimension. So I'm going to be chalking right on this. Uh, we have it for several different things, the words, but the words I'm going to do right on here. I'm not going to do everything on these cutouts. I think we have three, three of these cutouts. That's yes. Let's see what's on here. And that's about it. I also have, there's some cutouts here for all the words that are on here. For this family is a little. We also have cutouts for that, but I'm not going to use that. So let's get this out. And we'll put all this other stuff that I'm not going to be using this time. I like to keep it together with a transfer. So when I use it next time, I got all the things that go with it that I already cut out. So that's how I do it. All right, we have, 
extra room here. This one. It is starting to get a little bit cooler here. I think it's in the low 80s today. Actually, let's see, what is it? 70, oh, it's only 73 right now. Good time to be outside and sunny. How nice is that? Okay, put that down there. The first thing I want to do is um, chalk these bats. So you just take the transfer and um, I would, I am going to fuzz it because it's a new transfer and it's gone on this chalk suede paper. So um, I might even wax those, these bats, but first let's, um, not this side, let's chalk these or fuzz these. All this does, it pulls up a little bit of the lint from this side. Um, this is a microfiber side, which is good for drying um, your transfer. And this one is like a terry cloth towel. It just, you wanna do it a couple times, just kind of pick up a little bit of lint so it's less sticky. Then I also want to um, take some wax. This is our regular surface wax. It uh, has no, no smell at all, which is nice if you're working inside. So just take some of this wax. Probably got a little bit too much here now. Um, just spread it on the bats, the chalk suede paper. And after you get it on, then we're gonna buff it a little bit. That and the fuzzing should keep the transfer from sticking too hard. That should kind of pull things apart when you take the transfer off. And where's the batting? I didn't take that out. Okay. That's the other thing, you wanna make sure, now the baddie, you can tell the words, but the bats, not so much, so I'm not sure I wax the right side. You wanna ink the right side of it. Well, let me see. This is, this is the biggest one, and that fits. Then this one, and then this one. That fits good, right? Okay, I did the right side. Now I'm gonna buff it a little bit. Kind of take, until it, it doesn't drag so much. Because we want it to be easy to put on here and pull off. So number one, you don't pull apart the chalk suede paper. And number two, to protect your transfer from stretching out. So let's buff these up.
Now the bats, I'm gonna do those first, give them a chance to dry. And while it's drying, I'm gonna wash off the transfer for the bats because I wanna use it again for the um, glow in the dark. you can do after you fuzz these turn it over and check to make sure you don't have any little um, uh, lint or whatever that is threads um, in the net screening now if it's on the the blue it doesn't matter because that's just your mat as long as it's not close to the net screen so the blue is your mask. You won't chalk on that. What you can see through is the netting, and that's where you're gonna chalk. So, put this over here for now. And, you can see through this, which will help a little bit. Sometimes this is the hardest part. You can see through it, but it is also sticky. Ah. And for the bats, most of it is netting. So you don't have a whole lot of sticky to hold it down. All right, let, I might as well, might as well try to get them all at the same time. Nope, not quite. All right, let's see if I can pull this up. With the transfer being kind of transparent, makes it a little bit easier to line it up. Right. One more. Sorry, it's hard to concentrate and talk <laughs> for me. All right, I got them all on there. As you can see, you can kind of see through it, which helps to line it up. And now I want to get my black, um, black velvet chalk piece. Let's get one of my smaller ones, if I can find them. And chop these back.
what'll be fun is taking the transfer off, um, finding a spot I can hold the bat down that's not inked. And you know I'm gonna get this all over me. I'm glad I fussed it and waxed it. It did really, really nice. All right. You gotta love it when a plan comes together. All right, now I'm gonna try and show you without without getting it all on there. So I'm gonna put that aside and let it dry. Yeah. Almost lost that. <laughs> I'm bound and determined to mess it up. Okay. Takes about four minutes for this to dry. So, Now while we're doing that, now I want to do batty, and I'm going to do that in black also. I know I'm making faces, but I can't help it. All right, transfer. Come on, Sherry, line it up. Okay, there we go. Just lightly smooth it out. <clears throat> you don't want it sticking too hard. Okay, you take your black with your squeegee chop this batty. And I could use a bigger squeegee, but I just used the same one I was using. We have lots to pick from. We have the hockey stick. I think they call it multi-purpose tool. What do you think is a better name for that? <laughs> and we have um, a small squeegee, which I cut in half to get this size to even smaller. We have... Um, I don't know what they call this one. It's a pointy end for one thing, which is great for cleaning up messes and a real small squeegee for those little places that um, are hard to get into. So basically I'm just trying to get all the chalk paste laid down. Then I'm going to come back and try to smooth out lines, get rid of any excess. All right. Find a place. I can hold this down. Ta -da. 
then here is the batty part. All right, put that over there to dry. And actually, I think that's it for the black. So, put that back in there. Close the lid. And now, before we go any further, I want to take, um, first. I'm going to clean this off. And what do you think? I'm going to do it on this side. Now, if, if I were all done with this, um, not doing the live, I would take this to my sink and just use like room temperature um, water, wash it off, use a board eraser, and get this stuff off of here. Here's your board eraser, comes two in a pack, and they're awesome for cleaning the boards, getting the ghosting off of the chalk and everything. Now, I'm going to try and do it this way so I can get both sides. Just put your water on there. Um, and this sprayer is uh, distilled water, which works out best. Get this wax out of here. All right, so I am going to use a little water on here too. And you know, it, this, this is going to get dirty, but you can um, rinse it off in the sink. But something's going to be on there. It gets really grungy looking, but it does its job for over and over for quite a while. Mine get to look pretty bad, but it, it still takes, cleans it off the boards and stuff and your transfer. Of course, it, this would probably do a better job in the sink, but I'm making do here. All right, now I'm gonna turn it over on this side. And there is actually a lot more paste on this side. So you know, it is gonna leave um, a little bit A stain. There's certain ones more than others. Um, yep. my towel. This will just go into the washing machine and come right out. Well, there might still be some, but it'll be fine. Use it over and over. Now you could use, if you're not close to a sink, you could use, um, like an old terry cloth towel. Do you have any old towels that you don't mind using? Yeah, you could do that. And I think 
I'm going to need quite a bit here. Now I do have the sticky side down, so I don't want to leave it that way too long because it's starting to get sticky again. When, um, heaven's sake. I usually don't do this when I'm on a live. <laughs> this is behind the scenes when I do all this and I bring it down to the sink. It's much easier, but we're gonna make do so you can see the whole process. And I'm going to take the microfiber side so we can speed up the process. Now, if you're by the sink, you're going to take it sticky side up and let it dry, air dry. But we cannot do that right now, so I'm going to try to dry it like this. You can also use paper towel. It might help a little bit. So when you get it wet, the transfer, it loses some of its stickiness. So if you have problems ever with the sticky side sticking to the sticky side, um, get it underwater and then gently pull it apart. And then as it dries, the sticky comes back. So. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, put that down here. Inside, I am going to take my uh, tombstone surface <laughs> and I'm going to take this little transfer and chuck it on the top. I think I'm going to do it all in black actually. Here, I thought I was done with black. Forgot about this one. So I usually take this by the corner, roll it back, and the sticky. And it might not hurt to fuzz this a little bit too. As I said, it is a new transfer. I put this on the top. I'm kind of going to do it off of some of it off, which that's fine. All right, back to my black again. I'm going to do words and everything. Thanks for dropping in. I 
don't think I'm going to do the lines all the way down here. I'm just going to do the part that is the um, web. And the spider. And the words. So you could put Halloween on both sides, or you could put Halloween on this side and um, an autumn or fall sign on the other. All right, now I'm just scraping off the excess. I'll put that back in the jar. It off my finger. Surprised I'm not messier than that right now. Take this off straight up. Don't take it from the diagonal, take it from the straight edge. Very cool. Now that one I'm gonna I clean in the sink after we're done here. So, so far, um, here is our side. Now, um, I want this to dry before I put the other transfer back on here. So, just a few minutes. if you do make a mistake, you could just wash this off and do it again. All right. Let me think. All right, let's bring this back. And it's very sticky. Again. Put that over there. In fact, it's so sticky. <laughs> Now I have to use the other side and fuzz it because it's a little bit too sticky, I think. Now the stars I'm gonna do in the nominee, that um, metal shimmer, yeah, a sheen, more of a, a sheen. It's a metal kind of paste, metallic. Those are going to go on the stars. Um, the words are going to be the Hey Pumpkin. I think that's it. Okay. I do not have to do um, the batty. Or the bats. Because we did those over here. So let's see. Let me place this up here. We want to leave a little bit of room for the bottom for the stand. Oops. All right, I'm going to use this to kind of protect this just in case it's not quite dry. 
just like this, okay? Then All right, let's get our paste ready. Let me get my paste ready. And here is the hay pumpkin, which is perfect pumpkin color. And this is nominee. Metallic sheen, gold sheen. I'm going to use my hockey stick. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to decide if that was the best one to use, but yes, I think so. You just kind of use it like you would a pen or a pencil. Just slide it across where you ever you want this color to be. I thought these were good Halloween colors. And the the metallic gold is because it's their stars. So I just think that's the perfect color for them. Any time. All right, there's that. Now, let's do the nominee. And this, this works good for these little stars. me. I always make a mess. Cool, right? This way. All right. Now I can put this on my backer sheet because I am done with it. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell which one. It's the shiny side that you want to put this back on the backer sheet. aside to uh, clean later. Close my lids. Put this on the backer sheet. surface to work on. I like it. And I think it, it was beneficial to do all the prepping for the fuzzing and waxing and stuff. So I am going to quick do a dry on this. Especially that metallic shimmer. I don't know if that'll take a little bit longer. It might. I'm not placing anything directly on it, but just in case. All right. I 
do have a little bit of the paste I got down here in the bottom. Clean that off. You know, and I got it all over my table. No, drop it. So everything's falling. Ah, okay. Now. Let's get, now the batty words are gonna go right about there. Yeah, it should be really dry. Okay, I'm gonna take my dimensional squares and put it on here. Can put plenty of them on here so it'll stay. So how does your Friday look? If you hop on here, um, you can just say hi. And if you're watching the replay, just say replay. All right, now let's take all these little things off of here. It's nice once in a while to give a little dimension to the signs. A little 3D going on. And you do not have to have a laser printer to cut wood. This works just as well. Or you could. If you have a laser printer, you can um, use the digital SVG file comes several different kind of files um, to cut on your laser. All right, I want this to go like that. Now let's get all the bats. We're almost done here. What you could do too, um, even though you've got the cutouts, you could still chalk it underneath it, the same color as you're doing on here. So that way um, you could kind of see it underneath. off. Now I'm, I'm looking down here at the transfer. It seems like, let me pull it up here. All right, this great big one is up above the words. Let's do it this way. Of course you can do it anyway. Um, and the small one, you 
can get these little dimensional any place that um, sells paper crafts. That's where I got them from when I made um, cards. Let's see, let's put this one like right here. And now one more bat and we're all batty. <laughs> I like the way this turned out, really cute. Oh, let's do that. How about that? And there we go. Cool, right? And there you go. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, that's all I got for today, guys. Have a great Friday. See you later. Bye.